So recently I had this idea that I was going to try some MCT oil before I went to bed. And normally you would take MCT oil uh, in the morning to get more energy or even before you work out to actually run your body in ketones. But I thought about sleep apnea. And sleep apnea is a condition of a lack of oxygen, which interferes with your ability to sleep. And I do know there is a huge connection between breathing air, getting oxygen, and actually sleeping. For some reason, we don't sleep well when we don't get oxygen. Ketones give you oxygen, give you more oxygen than glucose. Also, you're getting less CO2, carbon dioxide. Now, what happens with the brain is this. It prefers ketones if there's enough ketones in your blood. If you're just starting out in ketosis and you're not necessarily doing intermittent fasting or you just want to spike more ketones in your brain, you can actually take MCT oil to do that because it converts to ketones very, very efficiently. And it doesn't even use the bile and some of the digestive enzymes from the pancreas. It just kind of gets absorbed and it turns into ketones very, very fast. So by taking a small amount of MCT oil, medium chain triglycerides, and I'm talking about starting off with a half of a teaspoon because it can create some digestive issues. So start small and maybe kind of work your way up to maybe one teaspoon over time. But try this right before you go to bed. I've been doing it for the last week and it does definitely increase the quality of sleep for sure. The other cool thing about ketones in general, there are certain parts of the brain that run on ketones and other parts that don't. Well, it just so happens that the pineal gland runs on ketones and that's where you have the melatonin that helps you sleep as well. The hypothalamus and the pituitary also love ketones. Now in the hypothalamus, you have all these little tiny uh, nuclei. They're little regulatory um, cells that are, combine the autonomic nervous system with the endocrine system. And there's one little nuclei called the suprachiasmatic nuclei that's involved in the sleep circadian waves. And that's basically your internal clock. If you support it with the right fuel, you could potentially enhance your sleep. And one last point about the brain. There is a lot of confusions on the brain. Until fairly recently, um, it wasn't known that your brain could actually run on ketones. Uh, it was thought that the brain could only run on glucose. So sometimes when you talk to your doctor, for example, they might still not even have this new information that your brain can run on ketones very efficiently. The brain can't run on fatty acids though. Other parts of your body can run on fatty acids. But because the brain is composed of a lot of fatty acids, that would be very dangerous if you're going to run on your own tissue. So that's kind of a protective mechanism. But let me know in the comments below if it actually improves your sleeping. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.